Hi guys, my name is Katrina and I am a first year pre-biomedical engineering student here at UBC. Today I am going to show you what a day in the life during final season is like as I prepare for my six different finals in my engineering classes. I have already eaten breakfast and I have it here. I made myself a bagel with some butter and right now I am just planning out my studying for chemistry as I have that exam in about two weeks and I need just to plan out how much time I'm going to spend on each part of the course and different topics that I think I need just a little bit more practice in. Today I also have a meeting with Hannah, the other vlogger for Engineering Stories, and we are going to be filming one of our videos at the library. So I'll bring you along my day as I study for finals and get prepared for a few more content things in Engineering Stories. So I just got to IKB and I'm in the room that we are going to be filming our video in. So I'm gonna start setting it up and complete some last minute work before Hannah arrives. So Hannah just got to the library and we are going to set up the camera and our notes and get to filming the intro and the outro. I just got back to my room from dinner. I ended up meeting a few friends at Gather, which is the venue downing hall, and we ate our dinner together. And then myself and one of the girls went back to her room and watched a little bit of Netflix just for a break because we both had been studying for finals all day. Right now, I'm going to start some reading for physics. I think I have six chapters to read, so I'm gonna work on this for the rest of the night. But before I started on this, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about studying for finals and stuff, just because a lot of you guys might be doing semesters this year, or even in the spring when you guys do finals, if you're doing a term system. Um, I just wanted to remind you guys that it is perfectly okay to take breaks, and I highly suggest taking them when you need them. These past two weeks for me have been super, super busy, and I've been constantly studying for this final or working on that group project. And I didn't stop to realize that I was starting to get a little bit tired just from all the work. And I wasn't sleeping as much because a lot of the things you work late with your group and then you go to bed and then you wake up early. Um, but I wanted to remind you guys just to take breaks and they're super beneficial. I was lucky enough, my parents do live close by. So my mom and I went out for dinner last night, which was super great. And for a surprise, because I won't be home until like two days before Christmas. She bought this little Christmas tree for my roommate and I, and it actually lights up. And so it was a really sweet little gift that she got us. Even though she does live close by, it's sometimes can feel a little bit further than it is. But my suggestion is if you're feeling a little bit tired, take those breaks. If you need to talk to your parents and they live close by, take a night just to go out for dinner or go out for breakfast or brunch. If they don't live close by, um, a few of my friends who have family across Canada or even in the States, they've set up these like weekly dinners. So they'll get takeout from the dining hall and then sit there and eat dinner with their family, um, which is super great. So remember that you can take breaks when you're studying and they're actually a lot more beneficial than you'll think. I'm gonna finish my physics studying and then maybe take a little bit of a night to myself or go out for some food with my roommate. Um, but I'll talk to you guys later tonight. So I just finished up with all my studying and took a quick shower just to refresh. I am going to go to bed, but before I do, I always like to do some type of relaxation or calming thing before bed. Recently, I've been super into journaling and reading. So I usually journal for about five minutes, just little things about the day or things I'm grateful for. Um, and then I decide to read a book. So I just finished the book called All the Light We Cannot See. And I've got to say that book was so amazing. But the new book I started just yesterday, it's called The Nightingale by Hannah Kirsten, Kirsten Hannah. 
and so far I'm really enjoying this book. I was suggested this book by one of my friends who also really liked All the Light We Cannot See, so I'm excited to see how this is. So far, I really, really like it. Yeah, I'm gonna spend some time reading this, but that is all for today. If you guys have any questions, comments, or any suggestions for any videos, let us know in the comment section below. Be sure to like and subscribe so you can get notified anytime myself or Hannah posts a new video on our channel and it is so great to talk to you guys in the comments or even on Instagram through DMs. Let us know if you want to hear anything else from us and yeah, bye! <laughs>